Hey kids, hope you're having a great day. I got a, I got a story to tell. And I thought maybe, can you sit down for a minute and, and pay attention? Maybe um, just try to imagine that we're in a city. The city is in Michigan. The, the Michigan's the state that looks like a mitten. And the city is Flint. And we live in a, in a big hotel uh, on the river in Flint, on the main drag, main street, on the river. And we all lived there for a few years in, in that hotel. And, and that was our, our job. And that was our ministry to run that hotel. Well, one day we were looking out the window. It was Chuck was looking out the window and, um, he was looking down on the river and he says, Oh dad, I was just watching that guy down there on the river. He was a homeless man that was sitting by the river in his old tattered ragged clothes. And he took a cup and he dipped the cup in the Flint River, and he drank out of it. Oh, we watched the man for a while. And from time to time, sure enough, he would take his cup and dip it in the river and drink the water out of the river. But the water in the river wasn't clean. It was nasty water. It wasn't safe to swim in. It wasn't ever safe to drink from it. Lois was talked us into getting some lunch and some something nice to drink for the man. And we, we drove down the street to the Checkers restaurant and we drove through and got a nice cheeseburger and fries and a nice big drink. And we took the food to the man and, and the drink to him and talked for him to him for a while about Jesus, who is the water of life. And it reminded me of what Jesus said one day on the last day, John 7, 37 through 39 says on the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out saying, if anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. And he who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the spirit whom those believing in him would receive. And what, what Jesus meant was that he was what we need for life and for satisfaction. That poor man on the river reminded us of how sad it is to be thirsty. And there are people all around us who are thirsty, who are hungry, who are poor, who are sad. And some of them, maybe many of them, they don't know about Jesus. You have a soul thirst that only Jesus can quench. And if you try to quench it any other way, it'll make you sick and leave you dissatisfied. Stuff and accomplishments and experiences, places you go and things you do, all the toys and gadgets and stuff like that, they won't satisfy you. Only Jesus can satisfy you. Anyway, I was thinking about that story, and I was thinking about you guys and thinking how grateful, you know, we should you should be that you have nice things to drink, nice things to eat, a warm place to sleep at night. I was just talking with Chuck the other day, and he said that Layla was in the other room making ravioli. I thought, oh, that sounded cozy. It was a winter night, and everybody was going to eat ravioli. And in my fridge, I have ice-cold drinks that I can go and drink. I don't have to dip my cup in the river and drink it. So I'm thankful to God. I hope you're thankful. Talk to you soon.